In this tutorial, we'll have a look at how you can install and open the free demo version of Aperture 3 The Stack in your digital audio workstation. To get a copy of Aperture 3 Demo, you need to head over to the Spitfire Audio website, log into your account and go to the web page for Aperture 3 where you'll find a link to the demo on the page. The page that you're seeing right now is the one that we're using for the Black Weekend promotion, so this may look different if you're viewing this video after the Black Weekend 2021. Before getting started, you should note the system requirements for the Aperture 3 library. You will need to use a 64-bit DAW in order to access this product, and it should be noted that Aperture 3 is fully compatible with Apple Silicon M1 devices. Once you've added a copy of the demo version of Aperture 3 to your account, you'll receive a confirmation email that looks like the one on the screen. Once you've received this email, the library should be available in your Spitfire Audio app. You should close and reopen the app if you've had it open since receiving this email. And if you still don't have a copy in My Products, you should also check that the email in the top right corner of the Spitfire Audio app matches that which you used to apply for the library on the website. This library is not a labs library, so you'll find it in My Products instead of the Labs tab. Once you've found the product, you'll see the Install button will be available below. Before doing this, it's recommended that you go to the Settings tab to check the default content path that you've selected is correct. You can select an external hard drive as the install location, and we do recommend installing onto an external SSD. If you don't have an external SSD available, you should click the default button here on Windows and Mac, which will set the location to the default folder path for those different operating systems. If you are using an external hard drive, please see the article below to double check that it's formatted correctly. If you're using the VST, make sure that you also go to the VST plugin location, which can be changed to a custom path. However, as most DAWs use the default path for your operating system, it's recommended that on Mac and Windows, you make sure you click the default button here so that the default path is selected. Once you've confirmed the default content path and VST location are correct, head back to My Products where you can then click Install. You'll now see that the Spitfire Audio app will automatically install the library into the location that we've selected in the default content path. However, if this is still not correct, you can always change this manually by clicking on the search box here and changing the location to a folder you desire. It's recommended that you keep all of your libraries in a Spitfire Audio folder and you select the Spitfire Audio folder as the default content path. The application will automatically recognize the library folders found within. Once you've confirmed the path is correct, select download and the library will begin to install on your device. Once the library authorizes, you'll then begin to download. If you find your download is slow, please see the article in the description below to look at how you can optimize your download speeds. We'll now look at how to open Aperture The Stack demo in different digital audio workstations. Use the timestamp in the description below to skip to the DAW that you require. If you do have any problems with the Spitfire Audio app or the download stage, please reach out to our support team at www.spitfireaudio.com forward slash support. To open the stack in Logic, go to Software Instruments, Instruments, AU Instruments, Spitfire Audio, Aperture the Stack, where you should select Stereo and then click Create. The plugin should open automatically or you can close and reopen the plugin from the information bar here. To open Aperture the Stack in GarageBand, select a software instrument and click Create. If you've not yet done so already, make sure in GarageBand Preferences you've enabled AU Instruments in the Audio slash MIDI menu. Once this is enabled, you'll be able to open the plugin from the track menu here where you can then select the drop down, AU Instruments, Spitfire Audio, Aperture the Stack, and select Stereo. The plugin will then open automatically, and you can close and reopen the plugin by selecting on the blue box here. To open Aperture the Stack in Ableton, you should first go to Preferences, Plugins, 
and make sure that you've enabled third-party plugins. On Apple devices you'll want to use audio units and on Windows you'll want to use VST3 unless you're using a custom folder in which case you should browse for the specific custom folder here. This should also match the VST location you've set in the Spitfire Audio app. Once you've enabled the plugin type that you need, simply use a drop down from the plugin menu here and then double click on the plugin to open Aperture the stack. You can then close it and reopen it from the menu at the bottom here. To open Aperture the stack in Cubase, click the plus icon here, select Instrument and then from the Instrument drop down here, select Aperture the stack underneath the Synth drop down menu. Select Stereo Out and then click Add Track. The plugin will then open in the DAW and it can be closed and reopened by clicking on the instrument symbol on the track. To open Aperture the Stack in Reaper, go to Track, Insert Virtual Instrument on New Track and select either the AUI instrument, the VST3i or VSTi depending if you're on Windows. Once you've selected the plugin type that you need, click OK and the plugin will automatically open in the Reaper session. To close and reopen the plugin, simply click the effects icon on the track window. To open Aperture the Stack in Pro Tools, go to Track, where you'll then open a new stereo instrument track. You'll need to also make sure that you've enabled inserts A to E in order to open a multi-channel plugin, where you'll go to the Spitfire audio menu, Aperture the Stack, and the plugin will open automatically in your session. To open Aperture the Stack in FL Studio, you may first need to rescan all of your plugins. Go to Add, More Plugins, and then Manage Plugins. From this menu here, you can select Find More Plugins, where FL Studio will begin to rescan the plugins and find any new ones that you've added, such as Aperture the Stack. Once the scan is finished, you can then go back to Add, Browse all install plugins, and then in your install plugins, go to Generators, VST or VST3, and then you can drag and drop Aperture the Stack into a track. To open the stack in Studio One, navigate to Instruments, Aperture the Stack, where you can then drag and drop this into a new track window as shown. To open Aperture the Stack in Cakewalk, go to Insert, Soft Synth, select Spitfire Audio, where you'll see Aperture the Stack listed in your VST3 instruments. Once you're happy with the settings, select OK, and then you can then open the instrument by selecting the keyboard icon here. To open the stack in Bitwick, open a new project file, select the plus icon here, and then navigate down to either VST plugin 64-bit or VST3 plugin 64-bit where you'll find a Spitfire audio folder and Aperture the Stack listed in this set of plugins. Select OK and Aperture the Stack will load here where it can be closed and reopened from the bottom menu as shown. Finally, to just give you a quick overview of the plugin, the filters here only contain one preset. If you're worrying about why the synths, the guitars and the machine filters are empty, it's because these filters contain the full preset versions found in the full product and links to how you can get this product during the Black Weekend sale can be found in the description below. Going back to the preset that's found in the free version, you'll see here that in the effects menu we can edit things like the filter, tightness, release, reverb and the noise that you can add to the original sound which can also be accessed via the main knob here and collapse by using this button in the corner. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop a comment down below. Thanks for watching Spitfire Clips. Let us know if it was too long, too short, too fast or too slow in the comments down below. Hit like if we answered your question and subscribe for more clips, tips, tricks and exclusive Spitfire content.